they spouted whiskey, that in the brine they lie. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many. I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Morkvag? What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. Curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due.
on cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Hey, Geralt. Come back. My, my. That must be Morklog. Quite the appetite. Mm -hmm. Might even call it Wolven. A bite. Just one morsel. One piece. A crumb. Food. Food. Shite! Not, not again! Not again! Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains. See them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Mm. Better. Craven's blood. Flowing profusely. Trails clear. Should lead me to him. Light prints. Craven trod carefully. Show me what you got. Monster tracks. Running. Chasing something. Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around and attacked. <laughs> Craven was injured, started running. Craven's blood.
Raven's blood. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. Bite marks. Morkvar doesn't need his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Your senses are really dulled. sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Starting to envy you. Wish to. Honestly, rather just kill you. You know, I will return. Don't keep me waiting. Is the curse uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and and uh, undo undo the curse, uh, free me. Uh, finally, I. 
So, no joy in being a werewolf? Me? <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> Anything I devour it turns to ash. Ash I cannot eat. I cannot drink. Yet I bloody live and roam and prayer. The hunger is terrible. Ah, terrible. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll return to shred you, rip your limb from. See what I can do. See. Looking for a man named Craven. Apparently came here to kill you. Seems it didn't work. Those who come. Uh, no idea. Then I cannot. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted. Raided. Drunk most away. True treasure. Head away. Yours. a mockery! Think this a diversion! I catch you again. I'll have reason to laugh! Some conversation. Not interested. What will you do? Uh, what a witcher ought to. lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. The roots. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! Scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven's blood. Found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Take it you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen. Charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Putrefaction set in, but the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk, even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex, but I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. 
Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Let's get to work. Selene, Selene, Dufresne! Selene, Selene, Davidar! of Lofferton. No, I... We're looking for Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She's more... me! I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! <laughs> 